Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to Strategic Command World at War, where we're once again back with the Axis forces. It's October 25th, 1940, and we are on a roll here throughout Europe. As, well, our uh, forces will seize Belgrade on this turn. We'll be able to make Yugoslavia surrender. I think if we go to the diplomacy, Germany will still have to declare war on Greece. They might know. So even if the Italians declare war, the Germans will do it as well. That's fine. Let's finish the job. Destroy the unit at Belgrade. And I should be able to get in there with the Italian forces. So I let the Italians take Belgrade and I will let them take Athens as well. That's why I will have uh, these Italian units go down. And they do need German assistance though, so... I'll send the tanks down. Same with a couple of core, but I also want to upgrade these. There's no rush and uh, they're pretty weak. The Greek forces, so let's, uh, yeah, I can't allow them to enter the territory. So if I move like this, they most likely will not be able to enter enter there and they can't really destroy this unit. So from the next turn, the tanks will come and well, things will not end well for the Greek forces. I'll send some of the Hungarian armies in there. These guys will already go back. And I definitely need the bombers out there. Actually send them over here. So they can get right into the action. And there we go. So as for the rest of the German forces, I want to at least send an entire army to each of the three different army groups. So if I have von Lieb as army group north, I kind of want to have at least two armies there. I want to have two armies at the very least in army group center. And at the very least, I want to have two armies in army group south. And we'll take it from there. I also want two core units in every army. So I'll prepare army group north first here. And I also want to have at least one tank army or a, I guess, panzer division in each of the army groups. But I want to have two in army group center, so I guess I kind of have to buy another one. Oh, that's the diplomacy. Do I get to deploy one already? That's, that's basically, if I look at the purchase screen... Well, I got another tank unit. No. So, for Germany, definitely going to buy another tank. Cost me all my MPP. But that's okay. And then, as for Army Group Center, like I said, definitely want to deploy at least a couple of these guys. Want to deploy the paratroopers there as well. Then I have a second army for the center. And the rest of these units will be in army group south for now. That's okay. We'll be able to do a bit more starting from the next turn. And having the artillery there also works. I'm going to put this in auto could actually sack him yeah, but I'm not sure whether I can rebuy him then so I'll just send him to manual it, it doesn't really matter that much and I'll buy more HQs anyway in the future so eventually things will be better there um, at least that takes care of the German forces as for the Italians Kind of want to transport at the very least the armored unit. Put 
down. And reinforce my armies. To make sure that the enemy... Will be unable to break through here. And I also need to send a couple of core to different areas, but at the very least now we have an armored division in Italy. I'm gonna send the the other HQ down there as well, so we'll have a, a bit more forces ready to combat the enemy. Meanwhile, I will have to well, I will get the Romanian forces ready here. And they will still have to upgrade and things like that, but we'll do that on the next turn. Again, I don't have the MPP to take care of that. Let's go for these. I can <laughs> reinforce it to nine, but I'll just set these again to hunting mode and As far as I'm concerned, this will work rather well. Let's send you back. Oh, that's a Canadian destroyer. Definitely not good. Let's get you out. They're both in silent mode. Take a look at the damage. Excellent. And enemy contact. All right, that takes care of the subs. Not really the situation here though. Okay, it seems like they retreated uh, that particular sub. And my destroyers can't really find anything. All right, that takes care of that. Then the Italians over here could possibly still reinforce you. Great, we'll keep it this way. Maybe, no. You're at seven supplies, so maybe I can repair those guys on the next turn. For now though, let's continue here. Let's actually take a look at the HQs because these guys have five units now, that's okay. Then over here, Detach you, attach these forces. This HQ is good as well. All right, great. I'll start sending some forces down this line. And see what I can do. And by sending this HQ, I will have five forces up in here as well. And then I'll be, I guess, trying to move up again. We'll see how that goes though. For now, I'm just trying to lower the abilities of this core. Since I'm trying to cross the river. Hmm, it's a good attack. So you down a little bit. Destroy another core, excellent. And start moving in these guys. So I think actually an attack of one on one against a two entrenched unit is actually quite good. I will take it. Okay, no luck. Move you back a little bit, attack again. Okay, well, I'm not gonna be able to destroy this here unit, but 
potentially next turn I can cross there and I get a unit right next to Chung King. Can reinforce you. Mm. I'll actually pull these out. I don't think they are needed in that specific area. Over here though. Maybe I can destroy the special forces unit. The dare to die special forces unit. As long as they just wanted to say as long as they don't retreat, I'll be fine, but <laughs> they did. Alright, never mind. For now, reinforcing these units is really the only sensical thing to do. Okay, I, I re need to reorganize there too. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get this army out as well as I wanted to start preparing for other engagements. It's just that the the amount of forces that I have in China is just too cra it's too cramped and uh, there's not a whole lot I can do there. So for now, I can't, no, not. Let's upgrade you, double long range aircraft, advanced fighters as well. I'll leave naval weaponry for now. That's not really what they're trying to do. So I'd rather spend my MPP on something else. Let's go for some research and go for production technology at the moment. So these are both a two and my MPP is pretty much done. But that will make uh, units cheaper in the future. So that's uh, also good. Maybe I can still do a bit of upgrade here. Guess I can. Great. All right. So I think that leaves me with this entire turn done. Pretty good. We're set in the air, set on the ground and on the water. So I think I'll pass the turn back to the enemy once again. Let's see what the allies do. After zooming in. Italian national morale increases as Italy declares war on Greece, but only by a slight amount. Yugoslavia surrenders to the Italian forces, which also plunders that a bit. Allies send an emergency garrison to Crete and communist partisan activity in China. Okay. I'll we'll have to take a look at the partisan uh, progress. Okay, those are some very good research uh, points. Seems like Indochina is giving me a little bit more. Five this time. So I'm fairly uh, happy that uh, the production is increasing there. Okay, they repaired that back up to 10. But we'll try to cross. Strategic redeployment for forces in Greece is not the most useful thing. Okay, I will destroy that easily. It's a bad placement of units for the Chinese. Yeah, I'm not too happy about the air situation down here. I will have to send some German fighters. Luckily, I'm still pretty dug in here around Tobruk. I wonder how close Bulgaria is to joining the Axis. I think they're fairly close as well. Probably bringing in the armor unit now. Can you dive? No. Wow. Alright, they even did two damage. 
nuts. Too lucky. Come on, dive. No. I'm having a bad day on submarine land. If there is no diving, this unit is gonna go. I can't escape even. I think not even by, uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Germany celebrates the conquest of Yugoslavia. That's pretty much it. With a bit of look, luck, I can reach Kunming in one or two turns, or at least take it over. Let's uh, deploy those garrisons a bit later. S supply is quite poor. Uh, seriously, you aren't you on uh, manual? I guess they were, it just took a very long time. I need to actually get their entrenchments down, so. I will definitely attack there and get in the army too. It will allow me to attack with more units on the next turn. I don't need to take it now, but. not really going in my favor here so and that's actually really unfortunate I can only move in there hmm I guess I'll just upgrade these. Reinforcing is easier, so I'll do that later. Getting them up to infantry weapons level 2 is pretty important. Let's actually take a look at the new partisan situation because if okay so there is something I don't actually need it here but The rest of these areas are indeed like that. So I need another garrison, at least in Tianjin and in Shoa Steel, in order to stop the partisan attacks for the moment. Let's take a look at Japanese research, though. Because we have a maximum of 2,000. Naval weaponry is to the max. Let's reclaim that shit because we we don't need it at this point. We we can't research any further. Aerial warfare is almost done. Let's go for advanced fighters. Artillery weapons level one as well. Probably good. I will spend more 
later. I guess that's it for the Japanese, although, yeah, let's try to go after this core here. Like I said before, bad choice of the AI to put it there. And I should be able to destroy it. Indeed. Alright, that's pretty much it. At least uh, over there. And surprising... Oh yeah, they already did join. Okay. So, Italian forces... Nothing much here except repairing these. Maybe I can even upgrade some of them. No. Then I get ground attack weapons level 1. Thought I did. Uh, are you a manual? They're an auto. Okay. That's all the repairs I can do. get in the tanks now meanwhile I can't bomb over Greece let's try to destroy this garrison and break the Greek army in two just send the airplanes close and I think I don't even need the Hungarian armies what I do need though is this Italian army in order to make Greece surrender let's send these back and they'll prepare over there meanwhile let's take a look at research for the Germans first I can actually invest a little bit more and these are all researched. So let's put another one in advanced tanks. Another one in, oh, okay. I can spend 150. So I guess we could go for, um, naval warfare. I don't think it matters that much. that has the units and army group north deployed at the very least I will send them some bombers as well I'll have to see how I'm going to be able to deal with everything there but for now it's also army upgrading time again since I could go for infantry weapons level 2 I definitely want to have these uh, this unit's ready. And we can actually deploy these garrisons. There's also a lot of units for Japan. Okay, didn't see that coming. Here here and the submarine 
Now, the submarine is not really usable yet, but it will be helpful in the future. Once they declare war on the British and the Americans, uh, they will be able to uh, disrupt the enemy shipping again. Uh, let's see, that was the deployed units. Let's, let's go back. Still need to do a bit of movement here. Uh, so, as for... These guys, I need some uh, pretty tough units. Over to deal with uh, Shamizel and Brest. Having a German human unit here doesn't help because they can't be put under the Romanian core. So there's really no need to do that. Okay. That does take care of most of these units. Obviously, I still need to prepare a lot more for that. Okay, they actually can go out. Yeah, that hurts, but at least they will live. Alright, next turn I'm spending my points to repair the submarines. You can't go into Bordeaux? Hmm. Okay. No, that's fine. Let's actually go to the diplomacy screen and see. Yeah, they still have a couple of chits remaining. So what I want to do, USSR is actually pretty close to joining the allies already. So I'm going to have to start invading soon, I think. Bulgaria is quite close. Uh, let's actually start to try influencing Finland. Allies are also doing this with 10%. And I don't want them to join the allies, so I'm uh, much better off doing or keeping it like this. And yeah, in the next episode, I will go back to the allied turn. Things are going fairly well, I should say. I can see whether I can cross this here very big river and get to the west of Chungking. And then potentially, you know, we can sweep up north, make sure that these units are cut off if we actually get to see on. Well, we'll see. Cutting off this line should already make these guys be in relatively poor supply because I'm sure that they will get supply from this. Well, we'll see what happens. Either way, the war has just begun. I uh, want to thank you for watching for now. Do hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode. So take care, and see you there.